Hi folks, Keith from My Point Exactly here. The POI or Point of Interest Megafile is a Streets and Trips map saved with all kinds of useful travel pushpin sets already added into your map legend. This is a great resource for travelers and lets you see where the points of interest most important to you are along your route. On the West Coast and got an urge for an In-N-Out burger? There's a pushpin set for that. Traveling from New Hampshire to Florida and want to know exactly where you're going to get each Cracker Barrel breakfast along the way? Just show the pushpin set. Travel centers, rest areas, campgrounds, state parks, retail chains, they're all here and this list is growing. You can't access planning data this easily with an online map or even the most expensive top-of-the-line personal navigation device out there. But for streets and trips, it's just a walk in the park. To get the latest copy, search POI Megafile on either msstreets.com or laptopgpsworld.com. Both sources will point you to the laptopgpsworld.com post titled POI Megafile Pushpin Collections for Truckers, RVers, and Other Travelers. Before downloading, check out the credits paragraph and let the folks who've contributed to this great free travel tool know that you really appreciate their hard work. If you know how to extract a zip file, then download the smaller sized file and unzip on your machine. If you don't have a zip extraction tool, simply download the larger sized file. It'll just take a little more download time. Once you've downloaded your latest POI megafile, I suggest you make a copy and work with that version. Open the POI megafile and you'll see some information balloons on the screen. Check each of these out as they give instruction on how to use the file. Also note the version and feedback balloons. To move them out of the way, left click the push pin in this case the question mark. See that it now has a black outline around it. Now left click, hold and drag it out of the way. If you don't need that push pin anymore, simply hit the delete key on your keyboard when the item is selected and it will disappear from your screen and be deleted from the map. But before you delete them, I want to point out that you can hide them. To do so, make sure your legend and overview pane is active. The mega file will open with this pane on by default. Left click the Info How To Push Pin Set, then right click and choose Hide Push Pin Set. And now you'll see they disappear from the screen. They aren't deleted, just hidden. So as you look further at this list, you'll see that in fact all the rest of the push pin sets happen to be hidden. This is the default megafile setting because if all push pin sets were shown, well, it would look like this. <coughs> So as you're using your POI megafile, choose the push pin sets that you want to see on your map by left clicking on them in the legend and overview pane, then right clicking and choose show push pin set. Now they're plotted on your map and you can use them as a part of your route planning. There's a whole lot of really interesting and useful push pin sets here, but you're probably thinking that there are some here that you'll just never use. Not a problem. If you know you're never going to use a push pin set, left click the set and then right click and choose delete. Now it has been deleted from your map. So now that you've customized your map to have only the push pin sets you're interested in, save your map changes and open this saved map the next time you use Streets and Trips. Now you can plan your trip, toggling important points of interest on and off as you design the route. Remember that you can import your own points of interest as well. To learn more about planning a route in Streets and Trips, or importing your own push pin sets, check out the free training at mypointsales.com. Keep an eye out at msstreets.com and laptopgpsworld.com for periodic updates to the POI megafile. When you do see the next update available, don't worry if you've spent a lot of time and effort customizing your current map. You won't have to throw it away when the new megafile comes out.
Simply right click on the new push pin set that you want in the latest Mega File update, click copy, open up your map you've been working with, and in the legend and overview pane area, click paste. And that's how you use the Streets and Trips POI Mega File. Thanks again to our friends at the Streets and Trips team and Laptop GPS World for making the POI Mega File possible. Well, we hope you found this training session useful and we really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions about using Streets and Trips as a part of your travels, drop us a line at learn at mypointsales.com. Got friends? I know you do because you travel a lot. Tell them about this free training and all the great things you can do with Microsoft Streets and Trips.